The Louisiana State Archives can trace its beginnings to the dream of a single individual, Dr. Edwin Davis. A professor of history at Louisiana State University, Davis long recognized the importance of preserving records that documented the political, social, and economic activities of Louisiana. For years, he lobbied the state legislature to secure funding for the establishment of a suitable repository for Louisiana's governmental archives. In 1956, state lawmakers enacted legislation creating the Louisiana Archives and Records Commission. Initially housed in Peabody Hall at LSU, the so-called People's Archives were transferred first to a dilapidated warehouse in Baton Rouge's Industrial District. Then, in 1987, the State Archives moved to their present home on Essen Lane in Baton Rouge. I get excited when I think about Louisiana State Archives. State Archives has records of individuals, family collections, photograph collections, and many other uh, resources which people from all over the world come to review and to do research with. We're charged by law to identify to collect, to make available those records that chronicle the history of Louisiana. Because I feel like Louisiana has one of the more unique histories of the 50 United States. And this is borne out in the documents we maintain here. So we're trying to exhibit as many of these documents as possible to provide people with a glimpse of what is Louisiana. There are three main parts to any archives. First of all, preservation. Second of all, accessibility. And third is security. I like to call the conservation lab the room where we bring things back to life. We take old documents, preserve them, conserve them, and provide acid-free boxes for their storage. The most important thing about archival storage and maintenance is consistency in temperature. And we're very fortunate here at Louisiana State Archives to have the proper facility for the preservation of our historical documents. Most of our collections are accessible to the public, possibly not in their original form, but in microfilm or in some kind of form which we will provide to them. Basically, there are administrative historical and archival documents here. Administrative is basically what we have in the Records Center. Those have a short lifespan here at Archives. However, the historical and archival records are upstairs in our archives and they will be here forever. The archives on second floor and third floor are essentially a vault. But we have vaults within the vault within the vault. And in those special vaults we have original uh, letters. We have uh, the beautiful WPA dolls. We've got some of the um, Claire Chenault collection. And of course, all of the original acts of the Louisiana legislature are in our vaults up at archives. We have conveyances, records, a clerk of court documents dating back to the mid 1700s. The ordinance of secession. We want to be sure that we preserve it, make it accessible, and secure it for posterity. And so these records of enduring value, we want to uh, ensure are maintained. The John Gasquet photo collection, he was the unofficial state photographer, and he chronicled much of Louisiana history through the lens. Through his photographs has helped us to understand what Louisiana used to look like and some of the people that helped uh, develop our history. There's always a new challenge facing you. The evolution of technology. Uh, no longer is everything maintained just in paper and on microfilm. And uh, with the advent of the uh, digital age, uh, we are presented with new challenges and problems and issues that must be addressed. And so the archivist is continually learning, learning uh, new disciplines, locating and identifying old uh, film stock, news programs, and making it available to our researchers and to the public in general. If you go to our research library, 
you'll see that we have a station set up there where people can come in, plug in a subject, and you can watch on the computer screen there these film clips from old WWL news stories. And this is just one more medium through which we can tell the Louisiana story. It's not just told in paper. It's not just uh, told in photographs. Uh, but it can also be seen as it happened. And it just provides us with a more unique means of appreciating the dynamics of our history. Well, I began my career in the old Choctaw facility. We did not have temperature and humidity controls. We did not have the instruments to do proper records management, but we did the best with what we had. We have evolved from not having an adequate facility to having one of the best in the United States. We're very pleased and proud to have this beautiful facility here in Louisiana, state of the art, or pretty close to it. Louisiana State Archives is for the public. We want the public to use our facilities and our resources. But first of all, you have no excuse for not coming to State Archives because we're open seven days a week. We're the only State Archives in the nation which is open seven days a week. We've been open seven days a week, I think, since about 1988. And this was Mr. McKithen's desire to make the State Archives available to as many people as possible. When I speak to groups throughout the state, I like to end my presentation with telling the group and the people, the individuals that here at State Archives, we offer tours, learning experiences, conservation tips, and much, much more. The impression that I like for our patrons to have upon leaving Archives is, wow, not only a beautiful facility, but I didn't realize Louisiana's history was so rich and State Archives preserves and takes care of those records for posterity. That's what's important to us here at State Archives. From its humble beginnings as one man's dream, the Archives today, through the efforts of Secretary of State Fox McKithen, enters the 21st century prepared to meet the technological demands of the future. <laughs>